Hey guys. Hi guys. Special video here. First off, this was a box and we got a lot to talk about sent to us. Uh, it's supposed to be in nerd mail, but it didn't make it because it just got lost in transit, basically. <laughs> this thing got sent to us at the very end of October, beginning of November, and it's been kind of sitting in our post for like 16 days or something like yeah, that. Yeah, in our post office, like, I, I don't know what happened, but there's a miscommunica <laughs> miscommunication between us and them. I don't really know, but we got it. They called us and was like, they were like, hey, your box is here, come yeah. get it. We're like, oh, crap, sorry. Oh my god, we didn't know it was there. So here it is, guys. This thing is heavy, and it's from Australia, because apparently there's a lot of people from Australia that watch our videos. Okay. A lot. <laughs> Sometimes I think that we're just talking to Australia. <laughs> hey, that's okay with me. Y'all have nice weather. <laughs> so this is from Scott. I talked to him on Facebook, and uh, he's opening up a kind of a geek store, which looks really nice. Here's a picture of it. As you can tell, yeah. they're not chipping on quality. This is going to be a good store, and you can it tell. It looks so beautiful. I, cannot, I wish I could go there and just be like, Oh my god. So there you go, Australia. Some more uh, uh, nerdy places you can go buy your nerdy right. stuff. So in this box, I'm not really sure what it is. It does say some descriptions on it. Looks like it might be like special food maybe that maybe maybe it's only in Australia or something. So let's open it up and maybe eat it. I said something about biscuits on there and, I, and biscuits in America. I think it's a cookie over there, right? I don't know. Like don't biscuits know. here are like 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 bread. Breaded, uh, <laughs> like bread. It's like dough. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't I think biscuits in other countries like chips or cookies. No. Well, cookies I thought. Maybe cookies. I, I don't, don't really know. know. You guys can put it in the, we have people from Britain everywhere help they eat, so help us out. Alright, so here we go. Ooh. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, so they have so kinda funny. he's done it up nice. We have a letter here. And then we have oh, very cool. Oh, so you can tell sweet. it's definitely Australia. So you can see it's definitely the Australian theme. It's got a, a koala and a possum, which that's oh. not the kind of possum we have in America. No, that looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> that, looks, that looks like I want to hold the possum. Oh, yeah. Not. And then some uh, ancient animal stickers that will probably have to do with Australian animals. Also, it even made us like a booklet of everything in here. That is so, <laughs> so cool. cool. So I'm going to put this actually aside and then we'll kind of go along with what's in this box. Okay, so there is like a, a starter note here and I'm going to try to read this because he looks like he really is speaking Aussie. Uh, or, I'm sorry guys. Speaking Aussie. 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 I know. I said Aussie in a prior video. <laughs> And everybody was like, hey, America dummy, it's Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, sorry, guys, I'm sorry. So it says, this is a fair dinkum, true blue Aussie box. But before, should I be like talking to sort of you Aussie? You should say like this? Aussie, not Aussie. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. We're from the Midwest, y'all. We have a weird way we speak. Okay, so it says, this is a fair dinkum. True blue Aussie box. But before we go any further, I just want to point out that nobody in Australia actually talks like that. Unless they are from NT, which I assume is Northern Territory, or far North Queensland. I am not sure if any of these products have found their way to the States, but these, and I'm looking around and it doesn't look like it. I think one of them has. Really? Oh, yeah. I see that one. But these are some of my favorites growing up. Also, we spell favorites with a U here. Weird, I know. <laughs> Actually, I looked at that and I was like, oh, okay. All right, so let's get into this. This is going to be a fun video. All right, so we're going to take off these things first. It says Furry Friends Dairy Milk. So they're just looks like Cadbury chocolate. We know of Cadbury in America. The Cadbury Bunny, we know that much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, that thing comes out of Easter every year at the same commercial. Yeah, this They're chocolate's really flavor. soft. Yeah, I assume Okay, there. I'm going to take some of yours because mine's breaking. Mm, that is good. That's exactly like the chocolate we have here. Oh, um, for us, you can't beat dark chocolate, though. We like dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. <laughs> and then we also have some card packs that say ancient animals. Like we said, it has three cards and one sticker, and we have two packs of them. Okay, so I have a pterodactylus. <laughs> I have a... Stethencanthus. I don't know how to oh, say that. Oh, that's a cool shark. It's got like a like a torpedo on its head. <laughs> na, 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 na. That would be an awesome Jaws. I have an Elasimorosaurus. Ooh, dinosaurs are awesome. Really cool. I like those. Those are cute. Ancient animals, and I'm assuming Australia being uh, the type of land, the type of territory that it is. The land down under. You know, you have a lot of dinosaurs down there, and it's kind of a main, you know, it's kind of a big thing for you guys. Okay, are we leaking in here a little bit? Yeah, we're leaking a little bit in here. Uh oh. The raspberry raz. We will not be able to eat it as it's gone. <laughs> Rest in peace, raspberry raz. So let's start off with cheezels. So while you guys had Cheetos, you're going to wish you had cheezels. Similar flavor, five times the fun. Nothing more satisfying than cover your fingers in cheezels and gnawing at them <laughs> like a deranged squirrel. <laughs> All right, Aussies. You guys, I'm sure, have eaten many cheezels in your day. Oh, cheezels. They're strong. Those don't taste like cheezels. Those taste like cheese puffs. That's exactly what they are, cheese puffs. Yeah, we have some in America called cheese puffs. They're little like balls. Yeah, 
People love them. They, they're kind of one of those things you eat one, you can't stop eating other ones. Yeah, you eat like an entire 32 ounce Literally, of them. Literally. America, yeah. we sell them like this big. No, 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 no. We sell them by the gallon here. That's not a joke. Like, <laughs> that's all. legitimately true. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know these. I know these. I had these when I was a kid a I lot. These. Dunkaroos, baby. Dunkaroos. <laughs> I haven't seen them for years. I haven't no. either. I don't even know they're ever gone. These things used to be huge when we were kids. Yeah. Dunkaroos, man. There's commercials all over the place. <laughs> Dunkaroos, man. You just sent me back into childhood, man. <laughs> Dunkaroos. I remember the commercial where the kangaroo would just like jump into yeah. the Yeah. I can already remember what this tastes like. Maybe I can't well, let's read what it says. I don't even care. I know what it means, but what does it say? <laughs> Dunkaroos. I think at some point in the oh. 90s, America had Dunkaroos, but now yeah. they are gone. Yeah, they're gone, unfortunately. Well, they're still alive and well, and kids still love them, as do their parents. Nothing like dunking your kangaroo into some delicious hazelnut chocolate. I know, Sweet I baby. know. Jesus. Mmm, that, that is childhood. Mm -hmm. It's like eating graham crackers mm. with Nutella. No, it's like eating Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles. That's what it reminds me of when I eat those. That is my childhood. Oh my god, I love that. Scott, thanks. Totally, Thank honestly. You. Are those pogs? These are definitely happy pogs. <laughs> is this a box of my childhood? Did, did American childhood just go to Australia? <laughs> is that what happened? That looks like pogs. Let me open this thing. Okay, let's read about them. While you guys had pogs, we had zows, taos, I don't know how to say that. Which I think is pretty much the same, but our sets were never released outside Australia and were collected in chip crisp packets. Bird Simpsons! I Sorry. knew! <laughs> Bird Simpson number 149 was quickly pulled from shelves because it was deemed too offensive, so it is considered highly collectible. Still, it will only set you back 10 Australian dollars because Australia does not have a collecting culture and no one really cares. Mm. But I am sure you will appreciate it. Don't worry, I have my own already. <laughs> what was it, 149? 149. Okay, well here it is, 149. Let's see what it is. <laughs> He's mooning. <laughs> He's mooning. Uh, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'll try to get it in the video and you, you probably can see it here now. That's really cool. That is so <laughs> well, funny. That would have been, I don't know, would that have been outlawed here? I don't know. Probably I, not. So everybody, in if you guys were, you know, really young in the 90s like we were, you would have played Pogs. There's no doubt about it. You, you would have had Pogs. those like, big Pringle container looking things mm -hmm. full of them. Uh, and you'd have a really cool slammer, which are the heavy ones, because yep. you stack them up and you got to throw them. And, uh, you know, I had one that was a Magic 8 Ball, which was terrible. It was kind of like the generic one. Magic 8 Balls are so overdone in circular format. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody wants those. But I did have a saw blade. That was my thing. And everybody hated me because I'd throw it at their pogs and it would ruin everybody's pogs. <laughs> they hated me. But it was awesome. He was kind of that kid. In school. I was that kid. He was that kid. Oh, Homer. Oh, man, there's so many good ones I in know. Here. That's what I was looking at. What is that? Heinz beans. Heinz beans. It says, Heinz baked beans. I know these are sold in the States in various forms, but baked beans are a way of life over here. While you are all eating your ramen, <laughs> we are munching down on baked beans. When the Y2K hit, my mom had like a hundred cans my of beans in the cupboard. <laughs> so you might notice that cans are tiny. It's a snack for us. Don't cook them. Just eat them. Enjoy. All right, we'll do that. Let me grab a thing. It's going to be very weird for us because in America, it's a huge no-no to eat beans that aren't cooked. Yeah, you have to heat them up on the stove or something. You have to have warm beans. And trust me, Americans eat a lot of these types of beans here. Yes. Not this small, but we have a can that's about double the size yeah. and we do it for cookouts. So at least in the Midwest, we have cookouts all the time and uh, baked beans are very valuable and <laughs> if you bring the good baked beans people love you bushes baby <laughs> <laughs> dunkaroos so we have our spork spoons which <laughs> and uh okay so let's open this and see what it tastes like the can is cold so it's kind of scary because this looks just like baked beans here and it doesn't smell like, like baked beans here though I still can't eat baked beans cold. <laughs> I was going to say, y'all eat them like that? Man. Straight, straight, just cold like that? It's just still too weird for us to eat beans cold. Yeah. They had to be hot. Um, They don't, they taste like they've already been cooked though. Because yeah. like our beans haven't been, I don't think. Well, they have, but they not have. as much. Just if you bite into a can like that, they're like, uh, they kind of break apart. It's a different really texture. Bad. <laughs> yeah. Those taste like you really can't eat them out of the can. It's just really weird. It does taste good though. Tastes good. I, I'm, I'm going to heat these up later and try them that yeah. way. All right, let's see what else we have in here. Something called Milo. It was invented by a guy named Thomas in Sydney in 1934 and was hidden by parents everywhere as it was consumed by children rapidly. <laughs> if you have not had Milo before, scoop like four teaspoons into a cup, fill with three-fourths a cup of milk, and then mix. Once done, fill the rest of the way with more Milo and dunk gently as to wet the Milo, not mix it. Eat Milo with... Continue to add more Milo and repeat until full. 
then drink milk. You're welcome. That's a lot. That sounds really hard. That to sounds drink. complicated. Okay, well let's let's go get some milk and try this. Alrighty, we are back with our milk and can opener. So we'll see. Your cans are a little different than ours, so we'll see if this I will open it. Alright, here is Milo or Milo. We are not sure, but it's in powder form, so it just looks like cocoa to us. Let's get our milk and it says, what does it say? Four teaspoons? Four teaspoons. Two. Buckle my shoe. Close enough. Four. <laughs> Maybe one more. Okay. It's not even stirring. Well, I don't think it's supposed to. It says not to stir. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is it doing to the milk? <laughs> it looks yeah. like cake that's been setting in milk. That's, yeah, like cake and milk. Yeah. I'm going to put some more Milo or Milo in here. I got to be honest, it smells a little cheesy, and that scares me. It does smell like cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, dunk. And then drink it. Why is it crunchy? I don't know. Is it supposed to be crunchy? Okay, well. Here's the thing about that. When you're a kid, <laughs> your taste buds are different when you're an adult. You're into like really heavy tastes and colors and flavors and that kind of thing. This seems like kids would love it. As an adult, I don't think I could I don't think I could do this. I'm gonna drink it first. Hold on. It tastes just like chocolate milk, but I, I like this. It tastes to me like you're trying to make <laughs> hot cocoa with milk and it just doesn't get done. I think this is really cool. I like the crunchy like crispiness on top. I like this. Mm -hmm. Our kitty thinks it's tuna. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we have? We have Vegemite. Vegemite. This is what I heard of. I've seen this before. This is one of those things that I think like Europe and, and Australia and all of them have this and I've seen people hate it and think it's disgusting and I've seen people really like it. It says it's for like vitality every day. It's got a bunch of vitamins and good stuff for you in it. Now let's read about it. Vegemite. Now, I am sure you already know about Vegemite. Fun fact, Vegemite was invented because they wanted to stop wasting the yeast left over by breweries. Yay! <laughs> also, please don't eat this with a spoon. No Australian in history... <laughs> no Australian in the history of this country has done that. We just get foreigners to do it to mess with them. Spread it lightly on toast. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm eating this with a spoon, man. I'm going for it all. Oh, it smells bad. Mm. You know what? Oh, it smells like a uh, red bean paste that we love so much. I'm just going to be careful. I'm just not going to like take a whole spoon. I understand. It's going to be like like tar if I do that. Oh, God. Oh, I'm not trying. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not trying it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it can't be that bad, Mark. That's okay. Hold on. Oh, it stinks. It can't be that bad. Me. I don't even know if I like that on my toast. To be quite honest with you, that is one of the worst things I've ever had in my entire life. It can't I'll, be that bad. Just wait. So, to me, I thought this was going to taste like a, like a paste. Uh, I don't even know how to explain what I thought it was going to taste like. But I did think it was going to be so salty. That was the thing for me. So, dig into that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, that could be one of the worst things <laughs> I've ever had in my life. <laughs> what does it taste like? You guys are wrong for that. That is not edible. Okay, I understand that it's got to be a toast, but I don't know about that. No, but, man, no, not even on toast would that be good. When we put stuff on toast here, we put butter, which is one thing a lot of people like. You just put butter Peanut on Peanut butter. Peanut butter, uh, my favorite, apple butter, which is amazing. Yeah. All those things besides butter, in a way. You can eat straight with a spoon. That's much, dangerous. Yeah. That's toxic. <laughs> oh, That's my God. That's like trying to kill you. Oh, That's man. Bad. It's so salty. It is so salty. <laughs> okay, well, I think that was it. But there's a couple other things in here that are, they look like they're wrapped in Batman socks. They are wrapped in Batman socks. That's awesome. These are really cool. Bunderberg traditional lemonade. Oh, oh, that's such a nifty I know. bottle. What a cool bottle. It's kind of cold too, so this might be really good. Okay, it says Bundaberg Lemonade. More famous for its ginger beer, the Bundaberg Ginger <laughs> Beer Factory is built in the 1960s and was about 200 meters from my house. I'm not really a ginger beer fan, but this lemonade is amazing. All right, let's try. How do you open pull it? out and then up? Whoa! <laughs> I, I like got that. It. That's, that's so that's neat. Fancy. Oh, it smells good. Ooh. 
That's good. That's, that's really good. Oh, that's delicious. That tastes like lemonade too. I was expecting it to be kind of more like a pop lemonade, but that tastes like lemonade. It's like tart like lemonade. That's really yeah, good. Yeah, it's not super sweet either. Super oh my good. God, I'm going to have to get some more of these. Can we get these in America anywhere? I doubt it. Yeah, I really like that. What was your favorite thing in this, like, Aus what are we going to call this? Like, the Aussie box? The Aussie box. Most of the stuff was good. I'm going to go with this lemonade. This lemonade's really good. Oh, and these. These little cheese ball things. Yeah. These are good too. Without a doubt to me, I love the Dunkaroos. Yes. Total classic for me when I was a kid. And this Bundaberg lemonade is fantastic it's to me. It's so good. One of the best lemonades in non-lemonade form that I've had. And we didn't talk about these awesome we got Batman socks. socks. These are so cool. <laughs> so let's talk about Scott real quick. You, we didn't even know this was happening. He no. sent us a, a link to say, here. here's the tracking information that's on the way. And, uh, you know, we eventually got it. Awesome. He paid like $80 for shipping. It's so crazy. you're crazy, Scott. Yeah. I wish you wouldn't have done that. That makes us feel horrible. Um, we really, really do appreciate you sending us this. This is this was so fun to yeah, us. Yeah, good time. <laughs> you know, we love to try things from other places, as you can tell, when we do like Japan Crate and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, an Australian box was really fun. It was a lot of fun because a lot of this stuff I'd never even heard of or even... It never even registered on my radar that something like this would exist, especially that Milo Milo stuff, whatever yeah. you say. I never even thought that that was like an actual thing. It's fun to share things like this. You know, in America, we live our life here. In Canada, you guys live your life there. Aussies, you live your life down there. And, you know, Europeans, <laughs> you guys live over there. J Japanese, you know, no matter where you guys are from, mm -hmm. you know, we all have things that are in our childhood that we try that, you know, we love based on where we're at or culture or whatever. Yeah. And it's fun to be able to share, you know, these types of like, culture if you will even though uh -huh. it's just you know this kind of food and, and stuff you know snacks or whatever right but you know that's always a main that's that's a pivotal part in our life whenever we grow up because you the things that you're going to remember your whole life is yeah. what you and eat. it's nice to see things that like i know that a lot of things are associated with different cultures like everybody thinks that american culture is just like fast food cheeseburgers and fries when it's really there's a lot more things that are included in our culture and that represent our american diet and yeah. i think the same thing can be said at any culture i mean a lot of cultures have weird things that you're like what and that's yeah. immediately what you think of and that's all you can consider and think of and i would have never thought of any of these things no because i mean these facts. are the fun things right yeah. these are the fun things that you know aussies grew up with right where we have fun things in the united states that we grew up with it's a little different in the united states because a lot of the stuff we grew up with or still are growing up with you know foods candies whatever chips it's kind of everywhere around the world now mm -hmm. um but there are still things that, you know, were always weird to us when we were kids that we always want other people to try. Like, hey, try this, you know. And uh, that's what, you know, I kind of got out of this box. You know, I'm sure in Australia, these were those things that always, you know, clicked in your head when you were a kid. Like, that was cool. That was fun. You know, even <laughs> yeah. though it's not necessarily a part of the everyday diet, but it was fun, you know. Mm -hmm, yeah. I really like this. This what? was fun. One of my favorite things when we were kids that they no longer make were those 3D puff Doritos that came in like a container and you had to twist off the cap. Yeah. Those were so cool and I wish more people could have tried them, but Doritos was like, see ya. <laughs> when I was a kid, I always remembered like Mondo's. You know, you always yes. had Squeeze-Its and Squeeze-Its always had like the Boxer. The Boxer's always my favorite. <laughs> you know, the, 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 I don't know what you want to call them. They're not cans, but they're like squeeze bottles, I guess. <laughs> Oh, but yeah. They had like the boxer. He was always my favorite. Every time I got one of those, I'm like, yeah, I got the boxer. Well, who'd you get? I got to go with the googly eyes. No, nah, I got the boxer. That's what I was like. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Do you remember the squeeze that used to come with the little mystery flavor thing that you would like shove oh, down yeah, in? Oh, yeah, the little pill. <laughs> yeah. Man, when I was a kid, I used to put that in my mouth because everybody would tell me I would die if you would put that in your mouth. It was supposed to like suck all your like juices out of your mouth and you would die. I was like, no, it won't. And I'd be like, brr. <laughs> It was horrible. If you ever did that when you were a kid, you know what I'm talking about. It was like your mouth was like full of like sugar and your mouth was like... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I remember that. I yeah. forgot completely about that. I changed the color of it and everything. It was really cool. That was fun. Yeah. So those are the type of things that, you know, you would, we would have had in America that, you know, we'd send over somewhere else. Like, hey, this was cool. But, yeah. you know, we don't have this anymore, unfortunately. I do not believe you. And I always remember mm. something, and maybe uh, folks in America remember this, uh, mystery pop. So it was popcorn that you never knew what color it was going to be when it popped. That's what I always thought was really fun. It would pop and it could be pink or it could be green or blue or anything like that. That was always really cool to me. Yeah, I never, I don't remember that. We never, we didn't eat a lot of popcorn, so I don't really remember that at all. <laughs> yeah. So guys, in the comments, tell us, no matter where you're from, about what you remember when you were a kid, yeah. food-wise. What you was know? your favorite snack when you were a kid? 
from wherever you may have grown up. And tell us about it because we might not know about yeah. it. Yeah. Once again, Scott, thank you so much. You thank didn't you, have to do you, this. We really do appreciate it. We wish you the best of luck for your store. If you guys live in Australia, we will throw down in the description his address where the store is going to be open. It does look pretty good. It looks pretty high quality. So yeah. if you guys are looking for geek stuff, he does sell Funko Pops in the store. It looks like another mm -hmm. just awesome geek stuff and nerd stuff. All right, guys. Feeling blessed. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.